The Byron Tigers had a comeback win for the ages last week in the state quarterfinals against Reed Custer. Who would have thought they could ever top that? But they did today in the 3A semifinals. They took on IC Catholic in Elmhurst. Going to pick it up in the second quarter. IC Catholic already up 7 to nothing when big Jaden Mims will blast over the goal line for another touchdown. It was 14 to nothing. IC Catholic at halftime. Byron didn't get on the board until there was just over three minutes left in the game. Braden Smith throws the touchdown pass to Max Connell. That sliced the deficit in half, 14 to 7. Byron then went for the onside kick, and it worked. The Tigers got the ball at the 49-yard line, and the student section was going bonkers. A few plays later, Smith connects with Isaiah Gooden. He stopped inside the five. Now nine seconds to play. Byron facing fourth down and two from the three-yard line. All-state running back Chandler Binkley gets the handoff, takes it into the end zone. Byron still trailed, though, 14 to 13. So will Coach Boyer go for two points in the win? Yes, he does. And it's going to be Binkley again. He's hit, but he keeps fighting, and he goes in, giving Byron its first lead with only five seconds to play. For the second straight week, the Tigers battle from behind for a breathtaking win, 15 to 14. They head to the 3A state championship game for the third straight time. Which was better, last week or this week? Both come back. Definitely this week. Nothing's better than beating IC Catholic, especially on their home field. So if we had to wait, I'll weigh the two. It would definitely be this week. But and that's not just, it's not just me. It came down to everybody there at the end. We pulled through as a team and got it done. What a gutsy drive. What a gutsy two-point conversion call. Were you pretty sure Coach was going to say, let's go for two in the win? He asked the seniors what we wanted to do, and we wanted to go for two and put our life, put it on the line. And if we didn't up get, get, ended up getting it, then that came down to us. But he asked us what we wanted to do, and we wanted to go for two. When you guys were down, were you kind of thinking about last week and the way you pulled it out? A little bit. We were confident, though. We knew we were in it the whole time. We weren't worried about it. We were ready to go, and we all believed in ourselves. Big touchdown pass there to cut the deficit in half. Tell me about that play. It was a big play, it got us back into it, but that last play there obviously won us the game. It was even bigger, but it was a big play. As the seconds were winding down on that last drive, I mean, there was a sense of urgency there for sure. What were you thinking? I mean, we were in a little bit of a panic rush mode, but we weren't worried about it. We knew we were going to score. We come over there, we talked it over, talked to the coach about the play, and we did it. The two-point conversion call, was, were you expecting that? Yep, they asked us first if we were going to go for two or kick the extra point. Our um, coach, Coach Boyer, actually asked us if we wanted to go for it, go play for the tie and go to overtime or win it, and we wanted to win it. Tell me about the uh, TD catch you had. I mean, he threw the ball up for me. I just used my talent to go get it. It was a great ball by Smitty, and I managed to hang on. I'm happy for that. Were you guys kind of thinking about last week when you were trailing, thinking about how you came back last week and just kind of tapping into that, trying to do it again? Oh, yeah. As soon as we got the ball back, we were like, we got this in the bag. We knew it. We just kept believing each other, and we just stuck together as a band of brothers. And as soon as we scored that touchdown, we wanted to win, too, and it, thankfully it all worked out for us. Could you ever imagine this being this much fun? Honestly, I, after last week, it's amazing that we topped it, but somehow we did. Two weeks in a row, just amazing comebacks. Have you ever seen or experienced anything like this? No, I haven't. That's what that's what makes high school football special. I mean, these kids are out here playing because they love football, and you know, give credit to IC Catholic, they battled hard. And you know, I've never seen a game come down to the wire like that. And then for Coach Boyer to turn around, I said, "Are we going for two? And he said, "Yeah, we're going for two. I mean, what do you think? And, Unbelievable. It's just been a lot of fun, I'll tell you that much. Everybody thought there was no way you could top last week, and your guys certainly did it. Uh, but what can you say about them duplicating what they did a week ago? Hey, I'm included in that group. I thought that last week at Byron, the quarterfinal, I thought we'd never have a finish like we had uh, against Reed Custer. And, you know, our kids topped it here tonight. So, unbelievable. Your All-State guy came up big with the winning touchdown and two-point conversion, both plays. What can you say about the effort? Because he, he really had to fight physically to get in the end zone there. Yeah, I mean, the first one was uh, opened up, but the second one, it was a little bit clogged up there, and he, uh, he had a great second effort to get in the end zone for the two-point conversion for the win. All right, you were the guy, I assume, who ultimately made the decision, let's go for two. Take me kind of through that thought. I, I talked to him before the onside kick, Scott. Um, I, I said, hey, if we get this onside kick, we're going to drive down, we're going to score. And I said, then we're going for two. It's easy to say, and the last huddle that we had in the timeout, 
I asked the seniors, I said, hey, if we score here, do you guys want to go for two? And they said yes. Makes it really easy. The seniors are on board and they want to go for two and go for the win. You didn't just beat any program. You beat a real, really good program here today. Does that make it all the more special? I see Catholic is a great program. They got a great team. Uh, we're fortunate to come out with a win here today, but you know, I would argue that our program is at the top of the list too. So now the Tigers will play Tolano Unity in the state championship game Friday at 4 o'clock in DeKalb.